library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come and be a story Hello. Has everybody gone? Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Milton! Milton! Jelly Bean, Jelly Bean, what can I do for you? No, 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 Milton. What can I do for you? It was lend a hand day at the library today. That means you have to help someone and then you get a sticker. Oh, one of these, you mean? Yes. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, Jelly, uh, you could help me put these books away to help out the librarian. Oh, oh, OK. Yes, that would be very helpful, wouldn't it? You put the, those books over there uh, and these books over here uh, and those books here. Oh, uh, Anything you say, Jelly. Hmm. Can I have my sticker now, please? Uh, I think you have to help a little more to earn a lend a hand sticker. Oh, uh, okay. Um, well, I know. I'll, I'll help you put a sticker in the story machine. Hmm. Excellent idea. Okay. There you go. There's your sticker. Oh. And oh. this one's for the machine. In the machine. Please, can I help by saying the magic words? Of course you can, dear heart. Join in too. Imagine, imagine, imagine the story! <gasps> it's a playbook! See, our imaginations helped make a story. And it's called Helpful James. Mum was sitting down reading her book. A little hand appeared next to her and took the sticky tape that was lying on the table. Mum looked at James. It's for my baby, James said. Dad was in the garden pulling out some weeds. A pair of legs with a box on top walked by. The box on legs turned to Dad. It was James. It's for my baby, James said. Mum and Emily were reading a book when they felt a tug at their cushion. The cushion shot out from behind them. The cushion was attached to James. It's for my baby, he said. Dad was taking a rest after all his weeding when he saw a large towel and James slide past. James did not even look round as he dragged the towel indoors. It's for my baby, he said, as he went inside the house. Mum and Dad saw James climb the stairs. I wonder what he is doing. James was using the sticky tape to make sticky plasters. He made a box bed with the cushion. His baby wasn't feeling well. Mum and Dad had come upstairs to take a look. They had an idea. A hand opened the fridge door. Another hand took out the cake tub. James was still busy, a towel for a blanket. And his baby needed her doll. Mum and Dad tiptoed back upstairs. They had milk and cake. For baby, of course. There, finished. 
Hi, Jackson. What are you doing? Oh, well, the children did lots of space pictures today, mm -hmm. and I've done one too. Oh, uh, do you want me to help? Uh, I've been helping Milton, and he gave me this sticker. No, thank you, Jelly. No, the picture's finished. Now all we have to do is put it in the story machine to make a story. Oh, mm. but, but I could colour your picture. It needs some colours. No, but... Jelly. I oh. don't want any colour on this picture. Oh. Oh, OK. <laughs> In it goes. <laughs> what was that? Just a few pens, Jackson, to make your story more colourful. I'm just lending a hand. But now you will have ruined the story. Oh, well, I can help you by saying the magic words if you like. No, thank you. I shall say it with the other story makers. Oh. <laughs> Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. <gasps> it worked. It's a Kevin the Spaceman story. What's it called? Paper Planet. Kevin and Spanner in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before. Kevin knew where they were. He'd seen this planet on his space map. It was called Planet Paper. Kevin was disappointed. There was nobody to be seen, and the Earth was grey. The plants were grey. It was very quiet and sort of sad. Spanner barked. A grey bird flapped across the sky. Oh, well, thought Kevin. We may as well explore anyway, now we're here. Then Spanner stopped. He could hear some rustling beneath their feet. Suddenly, there was a tearing sound, and a grey head popped up out of a hole in the ground. Spanner jumped. He hadn't expected that. Hello, said Kevin, surprised. Are you alone? A rustly voice whispered. Um, yes, said Kevin, A and we're very friendly. The head climbed out of the hole. It was a paper person holding hands with another paper person. Spanner couldn't believe his eyes. Before he knew it, there were four paper people standing in a long line. Are you in trouble? inquired Kevin politely. We are, rustled the first person sadly. Some invader has stolen all our colours, added his friend. Life is very dull. Spanner barked in agreement. They put all the colours in a paper bag and buried it below ground. Because we're made of paper, we can't dig. Barked Spanner excitedly. Spanner's very good at digging, Kevin told them. I'm sure he'll find your colours. Spanner sniffed and sniffed, and then he stopped. He began to dig furiously. Grey paper flew everywhere. Suddenly, he stopped, stuck his nose in the hole and brought out a grey paper bag. Spanner dragged the bag over to Kevin. Oh, could you open it, please? rustled the paper people. Kevin opened the bag. There was a crackling swirl of colour. When everything cleared, the planet looked very colourful indeed. Hooray! cheered the multicoloured paper people. How can we thank you? Spanner panted. Maybe they would reward him with a bone. Oh, it was nothing, Kevin said. We're happy to help. Come on, Spanner! Hello, Milton. Ah, uh, hello, Jelly. Just doing a bit more tidying to help the librarian out. Oh, I, I think you should have a sticker for lending a hand. Ah, oh, good idea. Thank you, Jellykins. Mm. Oh, oh, that's a nice picture. Is it the moon? It certainly looks like it. Mm. It's glorious. Uh, I've got an idea. Why don't we make a story using that picture? It'll mean one fewer picture to tidy away. Yes. <laughs> <gasps> That's one less picture to tidy up. Are you ready with the magic words? <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a story! Ooh, it's a blue cow story.
sorry, Milton. That's right. Blue cow goes to the moon. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue cow was looking up at the sky. Ooh, I wonder what it would be like to live on the moon. She's off again," said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. "I'd like a ticket to the moon, please." "There you go, madam. Hold very tight." And they set off. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. There was a huge rocket on a launch pad, and Blue Cow heard the countdown begin. Ten, nine, eight. Ooh, I'd better hurry, she thought. So she hopped inside quickly. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And with a great roar, the rocket shot into space. Off to the moon! Blue Cow looked out and watched the world get smaller and smaller. After a while, the rocket landed on the moon, and she hopped out. It smelt funny, like cheese. Blue Cow sniffed the ground. It was cheese. And just then, a spotty man appeared. He said, "Oh, hello," said Blue Cow.、Uh, "Nice to meet you." <laughs> said the spotty man, and he handed us some tea. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you," said Blue Cow.、Uh, "Just what I needed." Back on Earth, Blue Cow's farmer was having his lunch and watching the news. "Cow in space," said the headlines on one channel. Blue Moon Cow said another. The farmer switched off the television. Wow, what nonsense! He thought. On the moon, the spotty man was showing Blue Cow around his garden. Blue Cow loved it, but soon she thought it was time to go home. I think it's time to go home, she said. So she broke off a piece of cheese from the moon to eat on the journey. The spotty man waved goodbye as she got in the rocket, and he even did the countdown for her. Bye bye, moon. <laughs> I wonder why the moon smelt so strongly of cheese. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Now then, I left my cheese sandwich somewhere. Where is it? Oh, I think I might have tied it away, Milton, just to be helpful. Oh, never mind. Thank you for lending a hand tonight, Jelly. Oh, that's my pleasure. Oh, it's time for us to go. <gasps> Oh, the librarian will be so pleased when she gets here. I'm sure she will. But now, the dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories are fun. Bye, story makers. See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>